Hey, what's up everybody? Happy Thursday, happy save point day. So glad that you're here with me on this most lovely of Thursdays. And uh, wow, it's gonna be a good one. Today we are playing Backbone. This is a raccoon detective game. That's all you need to know. That's it. That's the important facts right there. Hold on just a moment. Well, I get the YouTube chat up, but I can see all you folks in the Geek and Sundry Twitch chat. Hello, hello, hello. So happy to see you. We have Jojo, we have Andy, we have Chaotic Looney. Uh, we have Osborne, we have Privy. Oh my, what a day. I, I don't know if y'all were watching the news on the uh, internets of, of the stream variety, but i um, very excited for my dear friend, Abriya Ingar being announced uh, her season critical. I don't know if I'm allowed to say uh, what, but you know, you already know. Uh, YouTube.com slash Nerdist. All right, um, and I'm excited to chill out with you and play some cute raccoon so, detective stuff. I've been looking. Um, love your commercials, Dragon Ranger. Thank you so much. Yes, I am in a series of Magic the Gathering commercials uh, for Modern Horizons 2 which is so exciting because I play magic and I'm an actor and I get to be in ads for the thing that I love. So nothing cooler than that. Oh, hell yeah, Bria's gonna crush it. Uh, in fact, already did. Or will, I don't know. She's crushing it every moment of every day. She's goddess. Uh, goddess. Now I can see you, Nerdist Chat. Hello to Ethan Cheeto. Tanyo Times and Joe Barkovsky. How you doing on this Thursday? Good to see you here. Uh, and let's see, yes, I have some magic ads that are out. You can find them on the Magic the Gathering Twitter and Instagram as well. Uh, later today, we have a live episode of the Black Dice Society, of which I am a player which is a, an actual play on D&D's channel. And uh, my hair looks amazing. Thanks, Jojo. I did not wash it. These are yesterday's curls. I gotta tell you the truth there. That's the facts on that one. So doubly thank you. I even, <laughs> it looks pretty cool from what I saw on Steam. Yes, 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 yes. Let me read you a little bit of the press release about this game, even though we're just gonna play it. But you know what? It's the anticipation that makes everything worthwhile. So there we go. Got to get into this hair press release with my real good accents. Leftover curls are best curls. Yes, it is facts. It is facts. Oh my. All right. Pull on your trench coat and step into the shoes of raccoon private investigator Howard Lotor and explore dystopian Vancouver, BC, beautifully rendered in high resolution pixel art. Post noir detective adventure Backbone is released three days ago, two days ago. <gasps> Goodness me, love it. All right, so. Let's get right into some raccoon shenanigans, shall we? <laughs> Late because your foot got stuck in the cage bars. That's understandable. That's, that's an acceptable excuse and I'll take it. Okay, can we hear the music? New game. Raccoons take baths. We're learning already. Hi, night cat. Sorry, Mr. Call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up.
All right. Just side to side. A, D to navigate left and right. E for interaction. Tab for a detective menu. We're going to write these down. Oh, wow. Look, it's my to-do list from last week. <laughs> Did we do it all? Wow. We, we went to the P.O. box. Wow. Big stuff. Big stuff's happening here. Okay. Tab. E. Quick hold while I get a little bigger on my window here. Okay. Don't worry, I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about you. We're resizing still. And... Oh, she's got something to say about it. Perfection. We got a cork board. Oh no, my Mother's Day gift is in one of the boxes. Oh, you moved, very fun. When is Mother's Day? Did I not, I thought I already missed it. <laughs> okay, ah, Pianetti, you beautiful, dangerous renegade, you. Maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again. Mama Helen Lotor taught me everything I know, and I've spent years trying to unlearn half of it. My diploma project, Places of Absolute Solitude. Only action my camera sees these days is snapping fools leaving places they shouldn't be in. Uh, let's see. October 12th. Is this a significant day? Who knows? Town, Good place for a nice but expensive date. Museums, fancy music halls. I've not been for a long time. Well, we gotta take our girl Pianetti there. The village. Lower middle classville. It's not Gastown, but it's respectable enough. I grew up there on the border with West End. West End, no one's idea of paradise. Mainly factories and cramped tenement blocks full of neglected souls. Pay more attention to your souls, y'all. Oh, don't worry. You missed both British and American Mother's Day. Why aren't they the same day? That's where the stuff gets made doing honest work with your hands. Not a bad life, really. We've got greenery, where most of our food is grown. The docks, where all the fishing boats hang out. And East Gastown. That's the dream. Well, if you're a bourgeois snob who dreams of overpriced salad, it is nice and clean, though. And something else. Home to the high and mighty skyscrapers full of apes, big shots, and gated communities. They can keep it. Okay. That's what's happening on the old corkers. Insurance fraud, stolen cars, estranged lovers. Should probably bend some of these old case files. You know what? You never know when you're going to need them. <gasps> Does anybody know about the Cormoran Strike series uh, by the author who shall not be named? But uh, under... A pen name. They're these really wonderful detective novels. It's an old private eye named Cormor and Strike. That's some heavy breathing on this character. Is it? Okay, we're getting audio. There's just no music happening. Use the mouse to drag and drop items. Some can be picked up by pressing E. Oh, yeah, let's lick the oatmeal out of the bottom of this bowl. 
it said. Dangly feet. Tell me more. O oh, Green, 4 p.m. John D. Insurance fraud. All right, nothing here seems to be interactable. Except for that bowl of mostly eaten oatmeal. There's the door. A living room. <laughs> Got a fan on. Can't hear the game at all. There isn't much to hear. Oh, that's our bed? Okay. Hey, space economy, you know? Make your square footage work. Gotta hit up Frankie to fix it when I have cash, so never. Hey, life of a PI, not easy. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. That's his mantra. Photochemicals on the stove? It's a sure road to poisoning or, a, uh, no, not a great soup. Don't eat photochemicals. Hard to get tired of this view. Oh, we picked up our dishes. Is this a game about doing household chores? If so, I'm into it because honestly, it's kind of my favorite thing. You get to check a box, feel productive, and procrastinate. No, back to the toilet books, please. What do we got here? The Great Apes, Great Story, Swell Toilet Read. Great Apes walking around, can you imagine? Okay, out the door we go. Oh, it's not letting me. There must be something we haven't discovered. Place, chemicals. <gasps> Mrs. Green has come to the door. Hi, Ambient Oblivion. Okay, we gotta open the door. Odette. She's a beaver. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lotor. We spoke on the phone. I gather you have a case for me, Mrs. Green. Uh, that's me. You were vague. Tell me everything. Odette, please. And it's a matter I'd like to be discreet about. Okay. Uh, feel free to throw out what you think. Oh, tab shows objectives. Uh, what you think I should choose here. What do we say back to Odette? What are we dealing with? You don't last long in this game with a loose tongue. You have something to hide. I feel like any phrase using the, using loose tongue is a good one. Raccoons are known for being discreet. <laughs> That's a better response. I wanted a professional, and you came highly recommended. Why are you worried about secrecy? Or, that's good to know, so what's the trouble? I have never played these sly raccoon games you speak of, Osborne. Not since PS3, that's been a minute. Two makes you sound experienced. Odette says, I can't have anyone knowing I've hired a grubber. I've been called worse. What's the case? I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. He's missing? Question mark. He's a cheater, ain't he? You know, both of those are assuming we know, and they're assuming different things. I don't want to look like an idiot. So we should just say we're listening. But if someone votes we should look like an idiot, call it out. Hello, Pickle Deer. Sly Cooper is the name of the game being discussed. Hi, you remember me. Of course, Ashish. 
Of course I do. Hello again. Happy Thursday. You know what they say about assuming it makes an ass at it. You and Ming. Odette. He just hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. It's a Cthulhu monster, it's gotta be. He, like, sold a piece of his soul to commune with Cthulhu monsters, or, you know, great old ones, probably near Lethotep, and... It's rough. Dead joke for the win! <laughs> you suspect he's cheating, or have you tried to talk to him? Yeah, I think we need to tell Odette the number one thing in a marriage you need is communication. She's got to listen up. Yes, but he gets difficult. Like it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Court, are you filing a divorce? Tell me about the affair. Or I'll get the proof, Odette. I'm taking the case. We're not ready to take this case. He's really pushing for this adultery angle. Well, now she's the one making assumptions. I think tell me. Tell me your, your deets. What do you need to know? What makes you think he's not faithful? Do you have any facts? Or let's nail him. I'm taking the case. It's got to be one or two. You know, it's a lot... It's just a break in communication. If everybody knew what they wanted, there wouldn't even be a problem. What they wanted. Oh, plot twist. Odette is Cthulhu. He's trying to escape its clutches. Interesting. Okay, so the soft question or the hard question? I feel like we're a real hard, hard raccoon nose detective. Do you have any facts? What kind of facts? What else could it be? How did you catch a whiff of the affair? Or tell me everything. The judge isn't just going to give us the benefit of the doubt. She's really... I've asked her several times to tell me things. He just started muttering some spooky language in his sleep. Something about an og yag sogath Sothoth. Choices, choices, choices. I'm going to say two. If you say so. He hasn't been hiding well. His behavior is all abnormal. He gets home late, misses work, lies, and smells funny. I mean, all this could just be he's been playing a lot of paper magic. Hold up. Has he been aggressive? What kind of smell? He's skipping work. And you caught him lying? How late are we talking? Okay, the weird things to me are two and three. <laughs> what is this smell? Because that's gonna be a big clue. So, off an overlooked sense. Hello, Acheria999. What's up? Back at you. I just pronounced it like it's spelled. Uh, choices, 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 people. What do we ask Odette? I'm very curious about this smell. Oh, Becca clearly got herself a mono red deck because that was pure burn. I did stay up late last night playing Commander in person. So there you go. And I'm the one that smells in this case. Like perfume and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant. A kind of herbal stink. Cthulhu. Yog Sothoth. What kind of game is this? Ashish, we are a raccoon detective, of course. What other kind of game might it be? I think we're just solving a mystery, as far as I know. What deck? Oh, gosh. Uh, Niv Perun was the one I borrowed from Garov that was really great. I played with my Maroth deck, which is uh, pre-con and pretty low power. 
Smells have intrinsic connection to memory, and when something smells, it lingers. Totally. There's so much we don't know about mapping our smell. Like, think about, I listened to this podcast about this because smell was the thing, losing smell was the biggest indicator that someone had COVID. And um, what was really interesting to me was think about how our rainbow spectrum is mapped and how colors each have, you know, we've mapped them in a hex code. We can refer very specifically to colors, but for smell, we don't have any sort of mapping of our smell like that because instead of just having you know, the spectrum of seven colors, there's like 400 different smell inputs in your brain and all different combinations of them. So there's so much in that field to study, you know? Anyway, all this to say, I want to know what kind of herbal stink was on Odette's husband. I smell like regret and disappointment. (laughs) What a sad thing to say, geek. (laughs) I think he's on a training course to become a chef. Oh, true, true, yeah. The poignant herbal one, that's just called sweating through your deodorant. I think I'm interested in why he's skipping work, or if he is, and how she knows. I've had calls from his boss, wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him, for him. I'm so fed up with this. Caught him lying. That sounds like catching him lying. How late are we talking? Well, now I want to know what he said when she asked about asked about the the covering for the boss. Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met, or at least I thought so. Looks like we just got to ask all the questions. Uh, ba ba ba. Has he been aggressive? I can't see how this is pertinent, Mister Lotor. He threatened to take the kids? Odette, personal details can make or break a case. Let's talk about court then. You want to file for divorce? I think we go with the change of subject. She doesn't want to talk about that. I live in a cage. That's true. Cages do smell like regret and disappointment. That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids? I I can't take any chances anymore. This poor woman. Beaver woman. But has he said or done something to make you think he would? This is a separate issue. One I don't want to dig up right now. Alright, I need to get all the information I can and I work better when I know things. I'd really rather keep a few boundaries, Mr. Lotor. Custody battles are expensive, Odette. You have to be joking. Every sliver of misery is another loon in your pocket, is that it? I I wasn't asking that. I was just saying, well, now I can't get out of it. Oh, gosh. Okay, Odette, I can't take any risks. Let's move on or I'll find someone else. Oh man, could I get fired before I even did anything? Is that possible? Tell me your kinks, Mrs. Beaver. They are of vital import to the case. (laughs) Exactly. The tough thing is smell isn't as composable as colors into RGB. I pop, but maybe it is. It's just so dimensional we haven't figured it out yet. It's been a while since a streamer actually made me think the smell bit is interesting. Oh, gosh. Well, I'm sorry that streamers are so lame for you. Hey, you should be getting challenged in your brain noggin all the times. Although color is a bit more complex than just a few colors, the RBG scale is a simplified abstraction. I wonder how much work has been done on a smell abstraction. Well, there are scientists that are focusing on it, especially post-COVID because it was brought to the attention of the world, how important it is and how much it can indicate, especially because we do have a a sensitive sense of smell. We just undervalue it. You know, when uh, some some survey online was asking Gen Zers, would they rather 
not, not have a phone or not have a sense of smell. They picked not have a sense of smell, which is so crazy to me because that's how food tastes good. Like smells, as someone was saying earlier, change uh, like are associated with memory, can remind you of things. Uh, when people lost their sense of smell, there was a bunch of Facebook groups that were all people commiserating about how awful it was and how uh, they used the phrase, it feels like the world is in black and white, which is so funny to use a color metaphor to describe not having a sense of smell, but only because we don't even have that language. Like, if you wanted to say something is the color of a banana, you'd say like it's yellow. Uh, but if you wanted to describe a smell, like there's not really a language for banana y. You know? Can you hook up a smell meter to Geek and Sundry? My deodorant is cucumber and mint, if that's interesting to you. Uh, okay, back to the game. Odette, well, what do you need to know? What does he look like? Where can we find him? Have we met his friends? How would you pick him out of the crowd? What's his full name? Any aliases? Well, if he's lying to her, she's not going to know his aliases. Smells like banana. Yeah, but like, I don't know. We don't have word descriptors for banana unless it's a food. Didn't a company try to create a real smell generator for games a couple years ago and it failed badly? Well, yeah, that would fail badly because smell generators have the problem that there's no easy way to synthesize it from energy, so it's based on perishable components and they go bad really quick. Yeah, all that makes sense. Yes, we need his AIM username. <laughs> okay, so we'll ask that one first. Jeremy Green. People at work call him Jizz. Wait, they call him Jizz? <laughs> What? Of course. Yeah, he sounds like a real playboy if his nickname is Jez. What does he look like? He's a photo. He's an otter, of course. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding... She's a beaver. Why is it obvious that he's an otter? And also, even if she's an otter, I wouldn't make that assumption. I feel like in this game where uh, raccoons are detectives interspecies mating is pretty common. <laughs> they made a scale for describing... Oh, goodness me. That's yucky but necessary. You'd have hundreds of components, or else the range of smells you could make would be very limited. <laughs> Jess, but people get unnaturally... Relaxed near the end of the name, yes. Um, all right. So he's got square glasses, his wedding band, as far as I know. And he carries a black briefcase to and from work. And where can I find him? At work or at home? He never used to stop anywhere, now it's all the time. Going back to the case details, how would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit, green tie, and hat. Well, that's cute you picked out his outfit. It sounds like you're very close and doing well. He works at the Wolf Bank on Granville. Have you met any of his friends? Nobody's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. Just the matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. Ah, back to smell combo. They, uh, an experiment, they served food to people, but the room was lit in different colors and the food always was the same. When the light colors, um, when the color was green, people most disliked the food because they thought it was rotten. Oh no, they, uh, there's also like the, the science of color and emotion where supposedly a red wall makes you hungry. So they say paint your kitchen red, although if you're hungry, I don't know. Why would you want to feel hungry? $100 now, $50 later, and a whole trash can of garbage. Yeah, that's, that's the real pay right there. It's sourcing the garbage that's the difficult part. It's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. 
but what assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? Ooh, let's get weird with it. It's a matter of trust, Odette. Do you trust me? No, but I have no choice. My life is on the line. Right, 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 right. Okay, I'll call you tonight. Bye, Odette. We got a case. Yes. And, oh, yeah. McDonald's and KFC logos are red. So is it that our brain has connections to those colors biologically inher and inherently? Or is it that we have associated them with such things by living in a country where franchises have those colors in their logos? <gasps> There's more coffee. Car insurance for red cars is also higher. That makes sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense, but I have heard that. <laughs> um, car insurance is higher. Although they're so noticeable and flashy that you would think that, you know, it's less likely that someone won't see you in their blind spot or something if you have a red car because it's so bright. So I feel like their insurance should be cheaper. It just looks fast. Like those old commercials where the old man comes out of his house and is like, quit speeding! And it's a parked car, but the joke is that the car just looks fast. Most of it is association, but there is a genetic memory instinct thing, which is why hazardous looking animals look hazardous. What a sweet cutscene. Granville. It's a pretty good restaurant. That's right, we're in a haunted subway, I pop. Ooh, hold on. Who else is attracted to that fox looking thing? Smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. Oh, it's a squirrel. Oh, that's a sexy squirrel. Can we be real here? This is a very sexy squirrel. Never seen a squirrel smoke before. Yo, old man. Take a look at this photo. You seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Well, we should have started with this, but how's your day? Just hanging. What's up with you? You could say I'm hanging, too. From my hanging to yours. Peace, bro. What a useful interaction. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that cute little piggy. This fox. Old shift to run. We love it. We love to see it. Whoa. That's really... Seems extra. Walking down the street. The day I bought a bike, Citizen Maine. Johnny and John don't drive. I thought they were all one movie, but they're multiple movies. What if I just keep whispering? Great job restoring the rogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Do we agree with this? Hey, Becca, here's a squirrel related joke. Why do squirrels swim on their backs? To keep their nuts dry. <laughs> That's right, we narrate like a Sin City movie. You know what? Yeah, I think that all our bad ideas come from movies. But the good ones do too. There's a lot of reading. I'm gonna have to go make a tea soon. Maybe we could all get tea together. Okay, what is? 
Oh yeah, okay. 12.45, that seems like a good time for tea time. Oh man, Hank, we know this bear. Also, I need a Beck ASMR emote. I wrote it down on my to-do list that I only look at <laughs> once a week. There it was, tidy up. If only I had paid attention. Hank the bear says, no entrance for raccoons, goodbye. This is a town of all animals, and you're going to be speciesist with me? I don't think so, Hank. Here's our options. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. My friend Carlos waiting inside. Go ask him. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Understandable. Have a great day. I know, right? We don't like it. We don't like it. This this bear needs to get his shit together. I feel like we should refer to our friend Carlos. Maybe scare him off. I feel like Carlos is a big deal. Don't pay the racist. <laughs> Let me allow. It's not sure if you should say the word loon. I love that that is something that <laughs> triggers the auto mod. Who you calling a loon? We should just bribe him though, right? Don't don't pay the race. Okay, we'll ask about Carlos. Yeah, of course. Get lost now or I'll bash your head in. Oh, I see. It was like, yeah, of course. Get lost now or I'll bash your head in. Quick change. That was his vibe. Well, that didn't go as well as I thought. Let's talk to him again. What do you want? Can I get inside? Still no. Don't ask again. Bye. <laughs> it's quite a line. I like how they they talk by lifting their shoulders up and down. It's very cute. Oh no. We don't have an umbrella. That possum's just using a newspaper. What a possum. Hey raccoon friend. Larry. Howard? Well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Larry, what are you doing here? How you doing, old man? You calling me old? You should look in a mirror. All right, that's fair. Plus, these rags don't help my appearance. So do you live here? Live? Have you seen how tough the crowd here is? No, I live at the bridge. It's really not as bad as it sounds. That sucks. Balls, Larry. How can I help? Oh, thank you. Uh, you can't. What's your deal? Have you seen this guy? What'd he do? Oh, she was pregnant? Interesting. Awful things, can't tell, nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. I think we go with option three, because when you give people information, they want to give it back to you. But if y'all think that makes me a snitch, then we'll go with option two. What do you think? Wait, what's weird about pink? The basic components of RGB. Pink doesn't count in RGB? It's magenta. Right, and also there is no purple. Purple is a lie. Awful things to his pregnant what We don't know that. She wouldn't tell us anything. Hi, Dr. Zombie Killer from the Dominican Republic. Queremos hablar en español? I think you can be open with this old friend. All right, love it. Hey, I uh, like they do. What's he like? He's tall, wears a purple hat. My height chubby wears a green hat. Here's a photo. Okay, so, so who's taking notes on this thing? She said she put him in a green... I thought it was a green suit. 
We only see magenta when both red and blue light is presented. There's a weird thing about either pink or magenta where it's actually just the way our brain interprets a color that doesn't actually exist. A green tie. Does that mean it's a purple hat? Why don't we just show the photo? Haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and people talk. Well, Larry's a good dude. Okay, I'm writing down green tie. He works at the bank in here. We gotta go to the bank. But I think it's tea time now. Yeah. Folks, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna run and grab some tea. Anything green. Here we go. This way people will know. Check it out. Be back in less than five. I'm back. Okay, friends. Hello, hello. Thank you for being so patient. Now, this raccoon's about to solve some mysteries. 
staring contest with raccoon <laughs> i lost <laughs> uh yeah everyone's doing deep breath exercises breathe with your diaphragm not with your shoulders how did i get liquid on my shirt i failed <laughs> I'm so patient, I need a doctor. Hello? Who just walks up to an intercom <laughs> and tries to talk to people? I mean, if I lived in New York, that might be my favorite pastime. Just walk up to an apartment building like, hey, uh, do you want to talk? <laughs> yes, yes, no, no, Say safety, ha ha. Goo! <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> oh, end of the road, okay. Or rather, end of the alley. Oh god, that guy just puked. He must be drunk. Luscious barbershop. Fourteen ninety nine for a trim. I'll stick to the mirror. A pair of scissors and a large whiskey. No! What? It's not like a painful experience. You don't need whiskey to give yourself a haircut. That's a terrible idea. Oh, here's some spinach for you. Eres hermosa. Eres hermosa también. Maybe that puking possum knows something. I would have asked him questions if I could. The whiskey is the aftershave. Honestly, that would work pretty well. You want to clear out the pores because any bacteria that gets in there. Ooh, control for crouch mode. You know, if they're giving us the slow burn on the, on the very basic controls. Ah, crap. Downey's on duty and the booze up ahead. I can't deal with him right now. Do cities really have... A CPD booth like that? Or a police department booth like that? Look at this cutie smoking up in her window there. With her little tail hanging out. Downey. My arch nemesis. Howard, come over here, boy. Oh, don't call me boy. Uh-uh. It's very hot here and it keeps getting more hot. Uh, you've mistaken me for someone else, officer. That seems like a lie that will get us into trouble. Let's, maybe he has information. Let's say hello. Hey, boyo, got yourself a job yet? I have my own PI agency. And what are you investigating, detective? Murder, heist, the juicy stuff. Yeah, this feels like good. It's like a, a good joke. Always with the bullshit. You poor mother. What's wrong with your generation? Honestly. I'm j Let's just say thank you and be on our way. Thanks for looking out for me, man, but I'm fine. Yeah, sure. Called your mom recently. Why do you care? We're basically family. Maybe one day you'll learn what that means. Or else what? Or else I'm gonna hug you to death. Come over here. Wait, he's great. Sounds like a disappointed teacher, right? It says stay vigilant, so he probably... Maybe he has seen our mark. He's, he's uh, untapped, you know? After attacking... Ahem... <clears throat> Um, one day we'll learn what basically means. <laughs> yes, yeah, safe pop. For sure. Uh, let's hug him. What? None of these choices. Just accept the hug. Accept the hug, raccoon. I mean, Howard. Come on, when did we last catch up? Have you seen my shiny new honor badge? 
top of the precinct for shooting pigeons. Nice. No, we need to compliment the shiny, I think. Atta boy, that's what Lydia said. She does love me. Maybe too much. Poor Lydia. Yeah, what? Why? I gotta go. Okay, well, that went great. Downey would be a great person to ask questions to. I guess maybe he's not hes not so vigilant, is the takeaway. The Tweeko Mart. Okay, this is not a children's game. Did not see the hug attack coming. Slurp. Oi. Hello, Joshua. You got a slurp so it's not hot because you get all the air in there. <sighs> it is Earl Grey hot. Uh, plus some oat milk because I like when it's creamy. Tweak Omar. Quick Omar. <laughs> Thanks, Akari. <laughs> You're right. It does say Quick Omar. <laughs> like, quick. I get it. <laughs> Old owners still tend to. Own owner still tend into the shop. I could I should say hi before it gets driven out by Yummy Mart. Maybe next time. Say hi. We should say hi. MC McKenzie and Sons Limited. Fancy store. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Hello, you're an attractive human person. I'm an eyeswear. Gosh, thank you for phrasing that in uh, such an acceptable way. My Arnie cat is presenting his tummy and staring at me. I feel conflicted. This means you must scratch belly. It is fact. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora who then puked all over my new coat. Ah, memories. In general or at Foxy Burger? He was not specific. Garbage bin our favorite. Socks. Takeaway boxes. Six. Aha, a ticket to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. Who's this bunny? Bo. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? How's business, Bo? Business is business. Could always be better, but keeps me fed. <laughs> Damn, hawkers don't help any. Granville's filling up with them, and the force don't bat an eyelid. What is a hawker? You know, peddlers. They hawk their rickety ass stands around, hassling folks, and all with no permit. Yes, I realize. He should have. A New York accent, but that is not what we're going for here. <laughs> Slurm! My favorite sodi pop. <sighs> what, do, what does queek mean? <laughs> real quick! Real quick! The police booth is right there. I've tried reporting them. By the time an officer gets there, the hawkers are smoke. Damn their nimble little legs. <laughs> and why does it bother you so much? No permit means they can undercut honest businessmen like myself. They're criminals. Gotcha. I'd better go then. <laughs> the accent is perfect. Hi, David Flagle. How you doing? Yeah, you go. I'm busy. That rodent hawker will be arriving any minute now. I need to make sales. Ah, oh, cheer up, Bo. You have at least one loyal customer. 
Sorry to hear, gotta go. Man, you can be a bit of an entitled prick sometimes. We need to make friends here. Cheer up, Bo. Well, how about you buy something then? I've got nibbles, fizzy drinks, something for everyone. Let's get the paper. The headline says, Hmph, loyal customer, my ass. Front page today's Great Ape Parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. That'll be a half loon. Just want a headline. Thanks, man. See ya. We are a bad friend. We're not helping keep his business open. I get it. We're broke AF, but like for real. Okay, in the line. We're running, we're running, we're running. Look, we're getting rain on our screen here. Who are you? Oh, that was the cop. The alley, the bite. Oh, we could talk to someone in line? I wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't watch, want to. The Wolf Bank, this is where we were going. How did I miss that? <laughs> A half loon, outrageous! <laughs> the headlines, quarter, quarter loon. He deserves it. We should give him the quarter loon. Yeah, says the cat banker. Oh, of course cats are the hedge fund dudes. How are you doing this pleasant evening? Let's ask a direct question. You folks work at the Wolf Bank, right? Yeah, why? Is Jez around? And who are you? Either. Oh, I don't think we should say we're a PI. No, no, no. We shouldn't say who we really are. We should lie. We should say, Wallace. Asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. Oh! <gasps> Hi, Pecos Kill! Could be a teller. Yes, that's right. I was just exploring everything before continuing with the plot. Obviously, it was on purpose. No big deal. <clears throat> you and me both, pal. And Derek. Good luck getting it back anytime soon. Okay, so this cat banker... Banker cat... And Derek owed money. Loons, if you will. Oh, he'll pay if I can find him. Seen him today? Of course, but the wimp ass left work early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig. Heh. <laughs> Should we ask? Okay, I bring it to you, my lovely chat. Should we ask if something happened at work, or where we think he's headed next? Choices. Make it quick! Two. Where do you think he headed? What say you boys? Home to nag- to his nagging bitch of a wife? To the gutter where he belongs, only apes know. Harsh, okay. Uh, you don't know Odette. She's a lovely woman. Okay, I'm curious of either two or three. Either I could call him an asshole, probably not. Did something happen at work? Maybe not. Did you spend time with him outside of work? Maybe we'll find out, like, the whatever gambling he owes money to Derek for or get what Odette wants which is does he have a girlfriend everyone says four. <laughs> oh my gosh okay only if five more people say four I could be convinced okay more votes for three which is what I wanted look it's like flipping a coin and then doing the opposite because the coin just helped you decide the thing you already wanted to do <laughs> oh no, I think we're even now. Loons is almost certainly weird alt-universe slang for Canadian dollars. Our one dollar coins have a loon on them, and I've heard this city is theoretically based on Vancouver. 
it was Vancouver because that was in the description of their teaser video. Love it. Yes, yes, yes. It all makes sense now. If you reckon harlots are sort of girlfriends, then sure, it could be with one of them for all I know. Oh no, poor Odette. Okay, they really want me to ask if something happened at work. But I'm gonna ask the other one. Did you boys spend time with him outside work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday until he turned into a needy leech. Okay, so, bite Thursday. The bite, could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? Now it's skedaddle, rack. I'll do just that. New objective. Find a way into the bite. We've got a newspaper. A discarded ticket for the bite and a picture of Odette's probably unfaithful husband. Back to the bite we go. With this here ticket. What do you want? I have the ticket right here. What is this? Haha, <laughs> you're a funny little fella. So can I get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster, so no. But thanks for a good laugh. You want to hear another joke? No, don't test my patience. A bear and a raccoon walk into a bar. Fuck off. You're no fun. Bye. Skedaddle, skedite. We're headed to the bite. Thanks, iPod. Thanks for that. When I went to Krakow, me and my friends ended up calling the slotties that they use for currencies loonies. So I think this is <laughs> universe using Polish money. I love that. Yes, that's probably what's happening. Totally down for that justification. Okay. Let's start a running. We talked to the banker. Oh, but we didn't look at the bank. That's where he works. Aiden Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight only at the bite. Aiden Simmons. Canines, cocktails in a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. Except we're a broke detective. Anatoly. Ah, that's a beaver. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to? Hey, if it doesn't, I'm Mr. Howie. That's how raccoons talk. I mean, uh, beavers. What's a rascal like you up to on a fight even like this? Hey, Anatoly, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? No, we gotta, we gotta smooth, smooth, smoosh, smoosh him? You know the word I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, my beaver. How are Estrella and the kid? They're both doing just fine. Essie and I are good. Great. We even, bless the shepherd, got a second lad due soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Too, too many if you ask me. Oh, that's evil. Another. Wow, you're lucky. Thanks, he's a big one too. Essie is round as a watermelon anyway. The story I tell her. Ha! Woman, you get any bigger? I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. <laughs> yeah. Right, you know, the bouncers, the bouncers are always, it's a tough job. Hey, uh, can uh, you answer a couple of my questions? Howie, ease up, what's so important? You can't let a friend tell the story. I'm looking for a guy, here's the photo. Pfft. I don't know, Howie, I've seen so many faces, I know they're scrawny, so it's like flashing their cash at the bite though. I know, I can't get in. Have you seen him there? 
like the kind of guy to be in there. I see you'd have my balls. Anyway, how are you scaring off my clients, you know? All right, see you around. I think we got to go down the alley to get into the bite. But we need more information about some secret code to the back door, I think. Hey, squirrel. You got anything else for me? Goodbye. Schmooze. That's the word. I was like, I'm missing a letter and I don't know what the letter is. <laughs> Hank, I gotta get in there. Maybe that ticket of mine only works with this crowd. So what's up? Find your guy? Uh, I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me in. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an outer? That's weird. <gasps> oh, we gotta get a disguise! Help me with a good disguise. Oh, Howard, you may be able to pass as a cat, but even then you'd be ugly. In all seriousness, I need in. What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't know entirely what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What does he push? Actually, not important. Why would he help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. What does he sell, then? You typical, like, hype and shatter thing. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Monkey Butt. Yeah, what is this new thing's the shit? Though perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it have a kind of herbal stink? Okay, if you join later, when we, the, our client, Odette, she's the wife of this otter, and the otter is coming home with an herbal stink and some other stuff. No first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. What else do you know about the bite? Owners of Bloodworth, so lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth, the bear family? Oh, the stink thickens. <laughs> yes, I pop for sure. Crime family. Last year, head of the family up and died and shit hit the fan. No monkey butt intended. Air ended up in prison. And the current owner is a relative. Nah, I just want to know what's their deal. People say she's taking back the whole operation piece by piece, starting with the bite. What are these rumors? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. How she's got an ape for a lover, or that she was the one who got all the others killed so she could take over. All right, hopefully that's enough to get me into the bite. Thanks. See you real soon. New objective, talk to the sexy squirrel. Erica Mix subs at tier one. Yay, thank you so much for your two months of subs. Appreciate you, Erica. Let's get some squirrel action. Be cool, be cool, be cool. Hey, Johnny. Do we keep up with this Lala Wallace charade? I think we do. What do you want, Waldo? <laughs> you got any drugs? 
No, let's talk about... Let's tell him what we really need. Okay, uh... I bet you do, pal, but why should I care? Uh, let's say, listen, I heard it's the place to go for the good shit. Oh, you mean like that new school jazz or the great upholstery? Cut the crap, I know they deal monkey butt in there. Say what now? What idiot told you that? Oh, you know how it is, word gets around. Don't have it. You're out of luck, old fart. Uh, I feel like we should go with two. Yeah. Help me with the bouncer. Hank doesn't let any old chump in for good reason. Say I make you simpatico, what does Johnny get in return? Um, I don't think he's gonna do it for a warm fuzzy feeling or a threat to the cops. That feels dirty. I'm a detective. My mark is in the bite. I'll owe you one. I'd rather owe him one because that could be another case and we like cases. <laughs> he's doing the future weed. <laughs> I don't know. What do we think? Okay, two. You shitting me? Prove it, punk. Look at me. I am a raccoon in a trench coat. That's pretty good. Uh, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Ever heard of that? I don't trust strippers, let alone ones in trench coats. I, I didn't know strippers were known for their back scratching. Johnny, look into my eyes. Do they look like the eyes of a liar to you? I mean, I kind of look like a bandit a little bit. A bit rich coming from a bushy-tailed corner boy, don't you think? None of these are good answers. None of these are giving us leverage. Stripers. Stripers. Stripers, I get it. Okay, so, as in shifty raccoon guys. Uh, what do we think? What do we think? I don't know. Let alone ones in trench coats. Yeah, he's not one to talk. There's a lot of anti-raccoon stuff going on. I know, it's messed up. Ghost hack, this is the full game. It was released two days ago. Okay, I got <laughs> vote for two. Shut your mouth or I'll stuff your trash tail in it. Ooh, you know, you're right, I am a loser, but I need your help. Oh, you're pathetic. Would you get lost just looking at your fucked up faces, scarring me for life? Help me, Johnny. You're gross and weird. I'll get you in, but you have to leave me alone, okay? Beautiful. There we go. That's all we wanted. We'll be real subtle and sprint right up to the bouncer. Oh, there's a squirrel we know. Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Oh, you brought my favorite customer, Striper. You can come in. Don't cause any trouble. I see. Oh, you brought my favorite customer? Striper, you can come in. Okay, there we go. Let's do it. <gasps> Happy belated birthday to Ghost Hack! Yay! Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. All a little too high end for my taste. Look at that fox. <gasps> Look at her! Okay. Ingrid. Evening, sugar. Enjoying yourself? Not yet, my friend's late. I'm worried about him. 
not touching their regular. Jeremy, he's usually here like clockwork. Maybe I've seen him, what's he like? Green tie, green hat, glasses. Or he's... <laughs> That's not the right voice. Uh, or he's an otter. Hot dogs? Yeah, John Greer, we got it. Hot dog. Your Tatiana is showing. That's right, tune in for Black Dice Society on the D&D channel later today. Okay. I don't know, I don't want to be... Identify someone by their species. Sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. Why are you looking for him? I feel like I should tell Ingrid the truth. Or maybe not. He's a regular here. For drinks? You could try asking the bartender. Or Miss Bloodworth. Uh, buy you a drink while I'm at it? Or do we ask more about blood? I think we, I think we gotta, we gotta get Ingrid to stick with us. If you insist. What's your poison? Surprise me, I'll try. Hmm, we should listen to some music. <laughs> yeah, let's just stop doing our detecting and sit and quietly listen to music for a minute. Truth can hurt, but lies will get your teeth knocked out. Truth. Alright, there's a lot. It's lovely, but it's not helping with our detecting. Oh, that's Clarissa. Hold on, we gotta talk to this bartender. Oh, she's busy. You look a little lost, kid. I'm exactly where I need to be. How confident. I don't recognize you. Not a troublemaker, are we? Hmm. Nope. Just trying something new for a change. How's that working out for you? Why the calculated interest? I prefer to take care of what's mine. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Ah. <gasps> Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Hmm, well, uh, allow me to say you've got a very cozy place here. Fish, we've been playing for about an hour and we're gonna play for a couple more. <clears throat> uh, she says. Thanks, I do strive to offer a sophisticated experience here. So to whom do I owe the pleasure? Name's Wallace. She doesn't want a private investigator in her club. The pleasure is mine, Wallace. And what's your profession? I feel like this photographer... Okay, options are publishing house... Do you read is so condescending. We will not ask that. Nothing specific, just gigs here and there, whatever pays. She's going to think we won't have money in here. Photographer private stuff mostly sounds like something a private investigator might do. A creative soul, impressive. So how can I help, darling? Well, you're the expert. Do you have any special recommendations? Folks say that our chef's special is to die for, but I pride myself on everything here being equally special. So what brought you here tonight? I was looking for an otter gentleman. Name of Jeremy Green. Know him? Ooh, or maybe we find out about the more exciting services. Let's find out more about these services. Well, now that depends. What sort of excitement are we talking about here? I want to get into the VIP section. I'm not sure you're qualified for it just yet. 
I don't look exclusive enough for it. Keep your cool, Wallace. I'll tell you what. Commit, convince me that at least one word out of your mouth today was an honest one and I'll reconsider. Why would I lie to you? You can't spell pervert without private photographer. <laughs> Ghost tag, if your video is freezing, you can lower the video quality. Mr. Wallace, if that is your real name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you and it's certainly not appropriate in my establishment. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. We gotta undo, we gotta tell her the truth. I'd really rather stay. Uh oh, no, she's about to kick us out, we're gone. Perhaps me and the real you will see each other again sometime. Oh man, we effed up. We effed up. What's up, Mix Bosun? Ashish, you're everywhere. Oh, we got kicked out. Oh no. Find a way back inside. Oh no. Oh no. That didn't go well. Uh, hold tight, everybody. I'm 10 1. That's a fancy film talk for I Have to Pee. Be right back. Okay, so. Oh, folks, we're gonna have to murder a bear. <laughs> Instead of the bite, we only got the nibble. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's try and get back in there. Here we go. Do you think there was any way that if we told her the truth, she would have kept us in there? I feel like we would have gotten kicked down no matter what. Oh, Larry knows the answers. I got kicked out. Oh, Howard, how'd you manage that? I think I poked the bear. We'll just pretend I said that, but really, the back door. Now hold up, you said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. And you told me that you had no first-hand experience with monkey butt. People don't change, Larry. Dun, dun, dun. Look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought that up. No, you're right, probably reek of the stuff too. Listen, I'm no one to judge, I'm just trying to explain. This is where we draw the line. Okay, how do I get back in? The truck over there just arrived and some fellows entered through the back door. Monkey butt. I also heard voices coming from the roof, so they must have a door up there. Tell me about the back door. You ring the intercom box. They pick up, and if you're someone they're expecting, they buzz you in. Any clue on how I become someone they're expecting? No idea. Maybe they use some sort of a code? You're the detective, not me. Tell me about the rooftop. Do these buildings have one? How are you going to get on it? Bribe security, fire escape. I could climb it? I need his lift. Nah, no fire escape and the bite is too high. Are there any smaller structures you could climb up first? The press stand! Well there, that could work. Start with the press stand, go to McKinsey and proceed along the roofs. But you should know the bow is kind of a dick nugget. That's the most accurate description of Bo I've heard of my life. 
But also, who isn't a bit of a dick nugget nowadays? I'm not. Anyway, I'd suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up for it. Thanks for your help, friend. Goodbye. This was one day Larry had no reason to be morbid, but he was more morbid than ever. I got kicked out of the demo. Maybe you need to re-download it. Maybe the demo uh, came down when the full version came up. <gasps> Sid, who are you? You're new. Feeling backish, I've got sweet and savory. You can mix and match. Make your own trail mix. How about it? Do you hang around here often? I'm here from time to time. Can I help you with something, sir? Give me in the bite. The fancy jazz bar. I assume you tried the front door. I kicked down through the front door. Oh, uh, maybe this back door. I don't know the place very well. Sorry. We're really wanting to ask about these pumpkin seeds. Oh, I meant from the bar. Yeah, maybe there is no way to stick around. I get it now. Um, there they are. All this talk of nuggets. <laughs> Dick nugget is my new favorite word. Revoke. I'm so glad that you learned a new word today. Oops. Ask me, kid. Why'd you get kicked out, sir? Sorry, kid. It doesn't concern you. Of course, sir. Can I offer you some seeds? Pumpkin seeds? Of course. Salted, unsalted, baggies worth a half loon. I'll give it to you for three for a loon. It's a steal. Is your name really Sid? Sure for Sid will, but no one calls me that. Sid Seeds. My Annetta insisted on it. Thinks it's cute. Cute and memorable. Thanks for the seeds. I gotta run. Okay, we got seeds in our inventory. Can be eaten. Bo, gotta talk to you. Ah, don't mind me, just gotta climb the stand. Absolutely not. What if I could offer something in return? Now that you mention it, maybe I could help with the little issue I've been having. Spill it. I need that seed selling Pika Hawker off Granville. Can you do that? We're gonna have to do it. Let's just consider it done. Okay, let's get this kid out of here. Our new best friend. We buy his seeds, we tell him to scram. Hey there, back for more? Hey, Sid. Could you leave just tonight? I'd rather not. Thing is, Granville's great still spot this time of night. See, so you're not supposed to be here. Uh... What do you mean, supposed to? I need something from Bo and he wants you gone. Of course he does. Thinks I'm his rival. So silly. What do you need from that old stash? Let's tell the truth. Remember I asked you about the bite? Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. It's complicated. I'll owe you one? Secret's fine, but how about we get rid of Bo instead? I don't know. But Bo, yeah, okay, I'm listening. Well, thinks he owns Granville because he has a paid up permit spot. I'm just playing the hand I've been dealt. My mom and I built this car with our bare hands. I'm just trying to help my family. Where's this going? Bo's a bigot. He hates my guts because I'm a young rodent boy doing better than him. I'm a good boy. What's the kicker? Did you know Bo sells adult magazines? Very naughty, illegal ones. 
What kind of city has prohibition on naughty magazines? Let him know you know, you know? Well, this is tricky. But yeah, I don't like buy. Bo. You think he'll buy it? He'll blink anything to protect his precious permit. Let's team up. That's a swell idea, partner. Heck yeah, mister. Go talk to him. I will bow to the shepherd for you. We made a friend. It's so hard. Everyone's so mean in this game. They're so anti-raccoon. But you know what? We made our friend. Oh, 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 no. Get out of here. Oh, no. Didn't mean to. Okay. Actually, dude, go F yourself. I think you should leave, Bo. What? You selling adult magazines? No, don't what? It's a crime, Bo. So what? You're going to threaten me now? Who decides what's lawful anyway? I mean, this is a stupid law. Just take a day or two off. It'll be the safest thing. During my peak performance hours, so you can climb my kiosk, you sneaky bastard? Is that it? Yes. You guessed it. If I won't snitch, Sid will. Uh, I do it, bastard. I won't let you ruin my life. And who said he won't tomorrow? Degenerates. Ruined my whole evening. What a treat. To live a lawful life among trash like you. That's just rude. I'm calling the police. Officer. Wait. I'll leave, asshole. Damn you and your whole kind. Oh, God. That is violently wrong. Bye. Okay, well, now we can climb it. After, you know, being aggressed in this way. Oh, yeah. Just a raccoon climbing stuff. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I don't think you're supposed to have that much fire coming out <laughs> of your furnace. Who's the top dog now, Foxy Burger? Suck it. Bo sucks. I did pick the right vendor. <sighs> Ugh, this store is called So So. That's the cutest. Damn, what a view. Guess there are benefits to risking your life on rain slicked rooftops. Oop, don't mind me, boys. Oh, the pigeons. That's the lady I wanted to ask if she's busy in the window. Yeah, don't trash a trash panda. <laughs> also, hello, Charlotte. I wish I could just stay here. Maybe the pigeons would accept me as one of their own. Gosh. It's a tough life for a raccoon. All right, Green, after all that, you better be in here, you bastard. Enter the bite. Squirrel Kisser, thank you so much for your Risa. Appreciate you. That poor woman in the bite is still waiting for her drink. Okay, a dressing room. Thanks, Shepard, it's empty. Okay, now turn it back now. I know why I miss things the first time I was running down the street. If you leave the text box, box open, you don't see the new pop-ups. Inspecting the mirror table. <gasps> more Margo more. Fierce lady, not my type. Happy birthday, Rose. I hope they gave you a day off. Nicely wrapped gift. 
Mine usually came in recycled newspaper. Nothing pops in the mouth like Pops candy. That's it. Mirrors. Come on, Howard. You can do this. You're doing this. Some honey for your tea. Mom swears by it. Greg. Who's Greg? Nice fella. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see and don't see you behind dark objects. Just gotta keep my profile low and take a peek into the one of the rooms. Jazz must be in there. Oh all the jizz is in here. I'm all Greg! <laughs> Hello, keep going. Stay there. Oh, God. That was close. Private room. Damn, did I miss him? Maybe he left something behind that could help Odette. There's a green tie stuck behind the frame. How did it get there? Only one way to find out. What the? A secret lift. A green hat. Green must have been here. Now where's the rest of them? Is this a monkey butt? It really does stink like a butt. I think I could squeeze into it. Not that I particularly want to, but I can't afford to be picky. Got a new title. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he walks like me in the mornings. <laughs> Is this your Shirley P.I. raccoon voice? Feels like it should be more gravelly. Well, Eric, I was choosing a voice that I can maintain without hurting my throat all day. But you're right. That's a grim-looking furnace. What are they burning in here? Oh god. Oh god. Please don't be bodies. No going back now. Secret dumbwaiter to a basement incinerator. That's not a good sign. <laughs> they use it for roasting Sid's nuts. Uh-oh. We're about to get freezered. Looks like the guests of the bite are eating well. Greg. The inventory was off again. If I catch you stealing food, I'll chop your grabby little fingers. <gasps> it's the intercom! Dial packaging, dial freezer, dial bar, dial kitchen. This feels like the freezer. Let's call the bar. Boy speaking. Hey, boy. Greg, are you stuck in the freezer again? 
I didn't check the door. Uh, just checking the connection. An open vent. I could fit through it if I crouch. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. The high get out of the way situation. That's a big scary guy. That one must be your mixer, sir. I gotta go dial the kitchen, don't I? What happens now? Oh, <gasps> you failed. Don't get caught next time. <gasps> oh my. Okay, let's try this. Dial the kitchen. Uh, this is the kitchen. What do you need if that's Greg? No, I'm not making you a snack. I'm stuck in the freezer. Be there in a second to kick your ass. Okay, let's go. Quick, uh, 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 shift, and then, no, uh, control. Okay. <sighs> now we got him. Now we got him. This guy's gotta be gone, right? Because he was next to the intercom. Some kind of locker room. Better keep moving. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker, maybe? Ooh. What's all this? Important things. We've got square, circle, diamond, triangle. Square, circle. This feels puzzly. I do love a puzzle. Rising star Andrew West pushes trawlers to final versus starlings. Okay, so what do we think here? There's a five playing card. Six for one is written on this house. We have a queen. Is this anything? I see. A V A one. Or is that supposed to be a triangle? Circle four. Oh, 
Okay, square, zero, circle, four, diamond, five, triangle, one, or AV one? Love it. Decoder boards. AV1A5 diamond. <laughs> so confused right now. Hey, we're just moving stuff around. We're just moving things. Greg, the turnkey is missing again. It had better be here when I get back. Uh-oh, Greg is the talk of the town. Maybe it's my ticket out of here. Seems to need a turnkey. Like in a locker? You fart. <laughs> Just noticed that. Okay. There's nothing else here. Except a code. Zero. Four. Five. One. Enter. Ha! Purple lock, baby. Nice, 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 nice. It's so cold down here. Where are the lights? Lights? Here we go. Or not. Lights! Oh my fucking what dead body! Ah! Oh no, it looks like an otter. It's a naked, dead otter. F me, f fucking Jez. The corse corpse offers you no help. This is Jez Green, I found him. The pieces fit. It's Odette Green's husband lying here. Try to ascertain cause of death. No obvious signs of violent death. I think we all know it's the monkey butt. It's just a naked, dead, slightly overweight otter. Mmm. Uh-oh. You can get out of here, bud. You gonna get blocked. Bye. Check to see if the tie fits. <laughs> Maybe they overdosed him. The body lies there still. It is there, dead. Probably murdered, recently. Uh, sniff it. I bet it smells herbal. What used to be Jeremy smells like stale booze and cheap cologne held together by a stringent herbal stink. That's enough, I'm going. New objective. Somebody's coming quick, I have to hide. Control. Are they coming or not? Oh my god. Uh, don't get caught next time. Uh, okay. This looks pretty dark. I don't know where we hide. Okay, I, I got an idea. I got an idea. Okay, container. Oh God, what's that other body hanging upside down from a meat hook? It looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon, but beheaded. Greg here. Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Ugh. 
Something else. Oh no, this is the monkey butt. Never sniff the dead thing. I can personally confirm this. Aw, oh, Megana, thank you so much for your Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate you. It's always Soylent Green. It's always Soylent Green. Okay. Now we learned something new. Sorry, Jez. Even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. Close his eyes and take a piece of meat for the road. Too much? Maybe we should have flipped that light switch. Key. Key. We like keys. The turn key. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Yeah, I guess it's not technically cannibalism. Upstairs. Oh god. Jez, I'm so sorry. So sorry about your Jez situation. Okay, use this lift. <laughs> okay. It's only desecration. Oh goodness. We could escape. And that's it. Okay. I like a good escape. As much as the next raccoon. <laughs> Not technically cannibalism shouldn't be a phrase people need to use. Great points. Connection. Fuck. 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 They were butchering him! To dispose of the body? Or something worse than that? No, that's crazy. People don't eat people. Let's be real. The bite? Is the bite serving people's flesh? I'm enjoying consuming you. Where do I find you again? <laughs> uh, I'm Iceware. Given the circumstances, I gotta say phrasing. But I'm Becca Scott. You can find me at the Becca Scott. You can also find uh, a series of ads I did for Magic the Gathering and playing D and D on the D and D channel every Thursday after this show. I have one hour turnaround, then I will be there at 4 p.m. We are live. Uh, it's called the Black Dice Society, and I play Tatiana, an Air Genasi barbarian. And I feel like we're going to level up soon. I'm very excited, but currently at level three. Squishy, squishy baby. Anyway, you can find me on the internet doing hosty, actory things. But right now, I'm Howard, and I have just seen dismembered corpses being put into boxes. I've heard stories about ritualistic cannibalism in the past. Fuck. But those were all in L.A., and I'm in Vancouver, and I'm a raccoon! Every time I close my eyes, I see him lying there. <laughs> Alright, this writing has turned into just one word. What the fuck am I gonna do? This is so, so fucked. What am I gonna tell Odette? That's the wife of the dead otter. That he was sneaking around on. How about the truth? The truth might be too harsh. Your husband was butchered in the basement of some sleazy bar. I was there. Fuck no, Howard. I don't know. Should we roll a die? 
one and four, two and five, three and six. This isn't freaking California. LA always getting a bad rap. This is related to my QAnon cousin's uh, opinions of Angelinos. Although, you know, people doing teenager blood transfusions was actually uh, a thing that got shut down. Okay, let's see how the fates are treating me today. Great idea. Five, two, lie. Oh, I hate lying. Raccoons don't have wings, so we gotta lie. At least she'd never see him again. Drag it out, say you're still looking for him. I have no idea why he was killed. Maybe I'll find her some proper answers. We'll call her and wing it. Maybe it's for the best that he's gone. Why, Jez? What'd he do except pick a really stupid nickname? Could he have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time? He's definitely not the first. How many people has Bloodworth killed? With a name like that, I'm guessing a lot. Guy seemed like a harmless loser. In any case, what could you do to deserve being butchered? It's impossible to know for sure how many Bloodworth has taken. Maybe I don't even want to know. But I got a duty to do something. Ha ha, I said duty. <laughs> what the fuck can I do on my own? This is my chance to do something meaningful. I don't want to spend my life snapping cheaters and finding stolen watches. I also don't want to die. Yeah, I just don't want to be alive sometimes. Fuck. I wish someone would tell me what to do. I wish I had someone to talk to. <gasps> like Sid. The Seed Sid. No one would get it anyway. I have to wing it by myself like always. Cause I gotta stop anyone else from being butchered like that. This might be the most important case I've ever had. But is it worth the risk? I should tell the police. Is that really gonna work? Bloodworth probably has some sort of immunity. No way she's doing something like this without someone high up covering for her. What would I even tell them? I feel like the rest of this game was just Howard going to therapy and changing professions. Yeah, I wouldn't blame him either. <laughs> Hey, I might swear, just get that, get him removed. Get him removed. If only I had someone controlling my actions who could tell me. If only I had someone controlling my actions who could tell me what to do. What would I even tell him? Hi, I broke into private property and I'd like to report a butchering. they probably arrest me for trespassing and ignore the rest. Well... That's, I've done all I could do here. It's true. The bastards hate unsolved murders. They bury the case in red tape. Nah, no, it's the first one. Yeah, I don't want to answer the questions they'd ask me. So the police are out of the question. Think, Howard. Think. I have no clue what to do. I'm useless. Why me? Fuck this. Maybe if I drink enough, I'll forget about it. Forget about it. The lesson here is always bring a camera when breaking and entering. Not wrong. Oh, heck yeah, we're doing Call of Cthulhu, but we're just taking a month off on my channel uh, because uh, cause we've been doing it for a year. Um, But coming back in July... Forget about it. Okay. I just want this day to be over. Oh no, 
we should probably go get drunk. And when I say go, I mean stay right here on this park bench. Think with your inside voice. You're giving away the game there, Howard. <laughs> becoming an alcoholic is the last step to becoming a true film noir detective. Truth, pickle dear. Truth. The burning park. <laughs> Remember the great fire. Hash zero flag. Is that relevant? Or is this just graffiti? A figure with their tail chopped off? Weird. The great fire was before my parents' time. Burned up bridges. Destroyed whole districts in the war. Shit. Maybe we deserve to burn. These symbols look deliberate. What do they mean? You know what? I'm not going to remember them. I thought I would, and now I know I won't. We got hashtag O flag. Bonfire? Just party? I guess I'll die here. Okay. Hey, what's your deal, Lunny? Looney. You really necked that juice, friendo. Rough night? Oh, that's what he said. They need a new voice. You really necked that juice, friendo. Rough night. Why you got any more? You sure you've not had enough? Not nearly enough. Whatever happened, you might as well make your peace with it, I guess. Peace. Society is rotting from the inside. Always has been, eh? But welcome to the club, I guess. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. As long as you take it nice and easy, I got a calm spot going here. That's a, that's a fair ask. You see those symbols on the plaque? Yeah, I see them. Those are streety symbols. Not drawn by me, mind you. You know what they mean? More or less. Most of them are dumb tags or simple messages. You have a special language? Sure, it helps us look out for each other. What do the ones on the plaque mean? That it's not safe here and you better watch yourself. Not sure about the stick figure with no tail. Might be some cult shit. Cult? The New Dawn Fellowship? I don't remember where that came up. Oh, Pecos Kill, I'm so glad that you watched my playthrough of Veiled Fate. Yes, you can find such things on my YouTube at Good Time Society. All right. Looney says, No, nah, wouldn't be them. I think somewhat less dangerous, but more religious. Almighty shepherd deniers, perhaps. Can you blame them? One holy dude made, of all of us, made all of us, but loved apes best? Fucking bullshit. No, we're going to go with the truth here. All organized religion is dangerous. Ain't that simple. Even cults have their upsides. We all need companionship and something to believe in. People are stupid. I don't want to get into it, friendo. I got today to deal with. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. I hear that. How'd you end up here? Got injured at work. They let me go. Bosses are bastards. Yup. The ones who got born into it or even worse. They only ever look upwards. Never think of the folks they're treading on. 
So what were you doing? Worked at the big print works down in Gastown. Sounds like you're better off out here. No, that's not, nothing else you could do. With these bangled fingers and my brain not much better. There's more to life than just endlessly producing shit. Uh-oh. Internalizing. Internalizing. Okay. Baby, someone like you will never get it. What do you mean, someone like me? Not more of this raccoon shit. You're young. A decent kind. You got a tie. You probably think you got options. Damn. It's true. Well, thanks for listening to a washed up guy's ramblings. If we ever end up under the bridge together, we'll drink and cry the night away. What's wrong with drinking and crying together here? Ha! Huh, it's not the right vibe. I'm not staying here long anyway. Gotta keep moving. My name's Howard, by the way. Mine's Looney. Pleasure, pleasure to meet you. You too, always nice to pass the time with a new face. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, what's happening? What's happening? Nothing like getting drunk philosophical with the stranger. It's just like uni. Indeed. You can still do it. You can do it anywhere, anytime. You too, yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, bye. <laughs> Ties with the new towels, never travel the galaxy with that one. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. Looney's my favorite. Love me some Looney. Oh, wishing well. Someone's been using this as a public toilet. Not sure flipping a coin would help. Yeah, I think that's very unlucky. Uh... Somebody's standing there being creepy. Has that same herbal stink to it that... Oh, no. Why is that person being so creepy? Okay. Oh god, they're following me. A gopnik. Hey, pussy boy, let's have a chat. I'm walking here. Yeah, where you heading? Nope, can't do that anymore. Fellas, it's been a long night. Where'd you get that coat? Looks like a lady coat, you pretty little lady. Is this your idea of flirting? Just want a friendly chit chat. Got any loons for your new friends? They only make detective money. You think we're scared of cops? <laughs> you should be, you dumb fuck. Um, I don't know, what do you think? He looks like a rat fink. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Two, David Flagle says two. You should be, you dumb fuck. The fuck? You disrespecting me? Yeah, this is how we end a rough night. We bring on a fight. Come on, show me what you're made of. Ain't gonna be that easy, matey. Now time for Pain City. Get fucked. Ooh. Move the voices through the sinus, not the throat. That is great advice, Redthorn. Okay, we'll try it. <gasps> Who are you? I'm in love. Sparta! <laughs> okay, Howard Loader. We're safe here. You can relax. Um, what's your name again? Did you hit your head? It's Renee Wilson. Let's talk. Uh, what about? 
All right, let me get things started. Go ahead. I'm a writer. I've been researching Clarissa Bloodworth for a book on power and influence I'm working on. Who are you working for? Or why are you interested in Bloodworth? Or how did you find me at the park? And Renee Rescue is a foxy lady indeed. Okay, I think, how did you find me at the park? Well, I left the bite just after you got kicked out. Saw you running around. I wondered what madness you were up to. Just a usual night for me. I staked out the alley behind the bite on a hunch. Twenty minutes later, bingo, puking raccoon. I've got a sensitive stomach. That's right. That's all right. And then I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. And then you monologued on a park bench and I heard everything. Now, uh, not sure why I let you drink that whole bottle first. Hope it was worth it. That's up to you. Why are you interested in Bloodworth? She's maybe the most unofficially powerful person in the city. Since she took over as head of her family, she's been expanding. New drugs, high-profile visitors to the Bight, and more. Visitors? Did you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have been there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, even apes. I've been up there. I'm guessing you weren't invited. Bloodworth is getting some powerful regulars. No such thing as simple drinking with those kinds of folks. So you're some sort of Bloodworth expert? You could say that. I've never talked to her directly, though. And you have. What's she like up close? Smart. She could see right through me. Yeah, that's my impression, too. She wouldn't get that far without knowing how to read people and their intentions. Is she pushing drugs? Super, uh, specifically, monkey butt. Incredibly potent. Super addictive. I assume this is a suppository drug, right? She serves the clean variety at the bite, and the shittier version is turning up on the streets. It's a stupid fucking name. Oh, potent how? The pure version is basically an herb infused with some chemical compound and loosens up the tongue, which for someone like Bloodworth could serve a purpose. Let's move on. Mm-hmm. Who are you? Oh, who are you working for? Myself, as for my funding, there's a guy, a rich, important asshole. It's an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. You like telling others what to do, though? Now I want to know who's this guy. The name wouldn't mean anything to you, but he thinks the book will make him look good and dish the dirt on his rivals. And uh, you're gonna make him look good? No. The trick will be letting him believe that I have. You always tell him like it is, huh? When the time is right. Especially when someone really needs telling. Let me guess, everyone needs telling? Only the bad guys. The book I'm writing is about power and influence. Uh -huh. How they work. How you get them. My end goal is to discern who really holds the most influence in the city. Sounds like you're in way over your head. Maybe. But I feel like I could really make a difference with this book. No one has really done this work before. Why am I here? What do you want from me? 
first I want you to trust me like I trusted you just now. What did you find at the bite? I was literally just saying I wish I had a friend to go through this with. So I feel like we should tell her, right? We're supposed to tell her. Renee, the sexy fox woman, we totally got to tell her. She's probably a Bloodworth Uber fan. Oh, could, she could work for Bloodworth. That could be what this is all about. Do we trust Renee? I mean, did you see that angle with her suit? She looked good. That's a good suit. A Bluffworth. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I don't know. Should we roll a die? How about a D6? Even we trust her. Odd, we get out. I rolled odd, but I really want to trust her. <laughs> you think you'd be in a freezer by now if she was working for Bloodworth. That's true, that's true. Probably needs to find out what you know who you've told first. Charlotte doesn't trust her, right? Because we're supposed to trust her. She's sexy. She saved us when we were at a low point. So the fact that we're supposed to trust her means she's probably a, gonna do a switcheroo. Hi, Ryan. Uh, monkey button, and that's a hole you don't wanna go down. Yeah, you can't climb back out of that one. I don't know, it's more fun to trust her, right? Maybe we won't have a choice. You gotta share a secret. You can't just keep a secret to just yourself. Hi, Kenji. If we could find out how much her outfit cost, we'd know for sure. <laughs> that is a very good point. It's a very expensive looking outfit. But I don't want to make the smart choice. I want to make the fun choice. I don't want to get anyone else wrapped up in this. Wouldn't it feel nice to share the burden with somebody? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'm here to listen. I can help. What did you find? Trust her, then act surprised at her eventual betrayal. Okay, same page, Zachary. It's a long story. Start from the beginning. On our way here, you told me you're a PI. What led you to the bite in the first place? I was looking for someone. I was hired to track a guy, take some photos. What's his deal? That's what I was trying to figure out. He's a piece of shit cheating on his pregnant wife. Yeah, let's go with that. I see. Disappointed, but not surprised. Did you find him? Yeah, a trustworthy person wouldn't sound so untrustworthy. <laughs> yeah. His corpse. What? Where? In the bite's basement. They were cutting my target up into pieces. What the fuck? Yeah, it's fighting his flesh into neat little chunks, cutting him like a fish. But the truth is, there were other bodies hanging from the ceiling. Dot, dot, dot. I saw boxes of flesh. It wasn't just one body. <laughs> hey, Devin. Hope you're well. Thank you. Yes, we we uh, made a funny little review video. Are you fucking joking? I wish I was. Let me get this straight. Bloodworth is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then putting them into boxes... Hence the puking. I wouldn't put killing people past her, but this? Why? Maybe it's a power thing or a fetish. Maybe she eats them. I think we go with fetish, right? She's gonna sell your little raccoon butt down the river. <laughs> Everything is about power with her. The fetish? If she wasn't cutting them up herself, it seems unlikely. 
I don't know, Renee, I don't know this shit. I didn't ask for this. I'm not a fucking murder detective. Okay, wow, it really was an eventful night for you. What are you going to do now? Die, probably. That's the spirit. Seriously, though. How do we deal with your new situation? Uh, since when is it a we? Since I followed you through the city all night and rescued your soggy ass from a puddle, I have a proposition. Of course I gotta know what it is. Snack cubes? Oh my, sounds like a fleshlight, but with extra steps. Oh god, Redthorn, that is dark. That is dark. I have to see if uh, who I'm ordering fried chicken for. Devin, I am doing great. I'm doing great. Doing fun things. I'm filming lots of uh, the D&Ds. It's very nice. <sighs> okay, what's the proposition? I want to invite, invite you on an adventure. Can you be more specific? Work with me. Let's find the truth about Bloodworth. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. How oh, is that a good idea? I know you're scared, but I can see how your brilliant mind lights up when we speak. Are you charming me with your foxy charm face? I've never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I can trust you. You found something that I couldn't. And you owe me one. Well, good, because we can't, clearly can't trust my gut from the puking. Just imagine doing your thing while, while I work behind the scenes. Teamwork. Also, I'll pay you. Pay? How much? More than a private detective makes. I'm smart. And know her modus operandi. I'll keep you safe. Yeah, yeah, I thought said there's money and I'm poor, so like, yeah, okay. Uh, let's try, I guess. Excellent. Now, tea time. Mind brewing some? But, but I'm, I'm the guest, but also, sure thing, boss. Okay, it's tea time. She's got a map just like I do. Ooh, is she? Green and minty. Black and spicy or hibiscus flowers. Oh gosh, such a choice. There's a, there are a lot of F-bombs in this animal dialogue. It is true, Anterlistic. <laughs> oh, did I nail my sound settings today? I think I'm just super close up on the mic today. Hibiscus. All right. Pickle, you win. Gentle, subtle, and my favorite. I hope that this monologue is out loud. Uh, not sure I trust her. Don't know how to feel about her. Or she's pretty cool. All these are true. So, not sure I trust her. She might... Oh, we got achievement unlocked. Not born yesterday. She might be using me. More than she admits. Or maybe I deserve a friend. She got under my skin pretty quickly. She sure did. Too quickly. Yeah, Howard, get a fucking grip. You just met her. Put that kettle on. Coming right up. <gasps> Boxes. You just moved in? She's got a lab coat. Oh, that's my coat. I have a similar one. I have a similar one in my office. No good investigator should 
No good investigator should be without one. Where are we? Docks. Not the most picturesque part of the city, but at least it's hard to find. Oh, oh, T. Okay, that way heartbreak lies, Howard. <laughs> Oh, this is a detective story. We're not allowed to have friends. That is a fact of being a detective. You can have acquaintances that you're on good terms with. Uh, but f mm, friends, not allowed. Relationships, definitely not allowed. Hold tight, it's fried chicken day, and we're gonna order it real fast. While we watch them having a nice discussion. Hibiscus, my favorite. Thank you. Don't burn your tongue. <laughs> Renee, I do know how to drink tea. Spit take, too hot. Do you think she would have said it was her favorite for any of them? Pickle deer, well done. I don't have time. Okay, we gotta order again. So, the case. We need to figure out what happens to that flesh. Did you see the Starling Cider Delivery Truck in the Bite Alleyway? No, because I didn't look. Ah, uh, dear, but uh, I think uh, I don't remember. You know what I'm thinking? The truck smuggles the flesh away. That a glass of Starling Cider would be nice right now. No, I'm thinking what I'm thinking. Wow. That's my fa favorite answer to this question ever, and I'm now going to say it all the time. So no, I'm thinking what I'm thinking. Maybe the Starling Van is smuggling the flesh out. Where are you going with this? <laughs> what if I told you it's not a real Starling Cider Van? Conspiracies are for crazy people. <laughs> and what if you told me why? That's the best answer. Hell yeah, chicken shawarma. Okay. I'd seen it a few times while researching the bite. It's a good fake, but you can tell up close. Oh man, I'm so sad we didn't go look. It's probably like a sign hanging off that we could have figured it out. That would explain the so hobo signs warning it wasn't a safe place to loiter as if they kidnapped people from the park. All this tracks. Would we have been sold for cannibal food had she not come and saved us? Important questions. Important questions. Was this side of Pepto Bismol? <laughs> no, just an antacid. Yes, I did get heartburn in real time uh, and it was chat's job to identify this feeling to me because I had never had heartburn before because I ate my fried chicken too fast and this is this is what live streaming is all about people it's about discovering what heartburn is weird medical conditions together <laughs> I guess pretty normal medical conditions anyway long live the new flesh How'd you know it was a fake? I love their pear cider, don't judge me. And the logo just didn't look right. Up close, the colors were off too. So where does it deliver to after the bite? Oh gosh, so there was a pear cider ad on the street. And if we were super clever, we could have matched them. What a fun, fun little Easter egg. Okay, so where does it deliver to after the bite? Well, luckily, there are people you can pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know it delivers somewhere in Gastown. People like me? 
No, more like streeties and teenagers with too much time on their hands. I have a little network of friends. Maybe use a professional next time. Look, my informant tracked it to the main commercial block, then lost it. But I figured out that it spends the night in the bite alley before going to Gastown the next day. I yet plans to sleep through tomorrow. I'm not going to say that because we just got this job and I'm pretty sure we're in love with her even though we don't trust her. Nah, you know what? Let's be in character. Your plans are cancelled. You should figure out exactly where it delivers and investigate. We have to learn where that flesh goes. So it's a stakeout. Sure. But look for where Starling is stocked. It's a fake truck, but the right place will probably still sell it to avoid suspicion. That'll help you narrow things down. <laughs> I love this. Nightcat says, I've been getting a lot of stomach gas lately. Diagnose me, chat. You have stomach gas. <laughs> gas town irregulars. <laughs> yes. An otter stakeout. Okay. That is some good detecting, Renee. But what if it doesn't? We need to check either way. It's the only lead we have. We don't want to wait until next time. It has to be done. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Okay, JFK. You can do this. Clarissa could be tracking me. You already compromised your safety. What's the point in stopping now? You've got nothing to lose. You calling me a loser? Oh shit, I have to call my mom. I also should call Odette. But I'm gonna call my mom first. I'm not judging. The phone is right there. Arrange a taxi to da Gastown while you're at it. I've got a man for that. Be right back. Here's our new objective. Figure out where the boxes of flesh are ending up and track down the fake Starling cider truck. Okay, let's get our TXI. Here's the bite in Granville. The butcher shop. I feel like I could, should know which ape this is, but I'm drawing a blank. Probably one of the top dogs, which doesn't narrow it down by much. Chapter 4, call editor, unrelated to the case. Yeah, keep smiling. I'm coming for you, you monster. Prominent family leader's death ruled as tragic accident. The renowned patriarch is mourned by his closest family, brother Clements and daughter Clarissa. Yeah, I don't buy it. Fat Goose Noodle's my favorite. I know, Pickle Deer. I also thought the apes they were mentioning were actually humans. Because they were kind of framing it that way. Maybe a miscommunication between artist and writer? <laughs> Anatoly is the guy who runs the movie theater. But I said I would call my mom and I meant it. You can't neglect calling your mothers. Call your mothers. It's important. She's waiting to hear from you. And now I realize... I only texted mine. I need to call her. Loader residence. It's your favorite son. Howie, what time is it? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? Shh. Just want to hear your voice, Mom. Did you have to hear it at five in the morning? Uh. Sorry, been busy work. What well, work? Do you need money? This voice is going places. 
I was really hoping she would name a different son. That would have been great, Pickled Deer. That would have been real great. <laughs> I need a Ouija board to come on. Ah, uh, yeah, but... What work? Do you need money? Why, you win bigger cards or something? What do you need then? Mom, I'm fine. Stop worrying. Well, now that you're here, maybe you can help me. I keep seeing these damn spiders under the bed. Spiders, huh? Big ones? Huge! I'm not panicking, but where are they coming from? You should take a look for me because maybe later I won't call for a week or two. Don't worry, okay? Fine, fine. You never have time for your mother. Maybe you will when I die. Mom, I love you. Ah, oh, Howie, I love you too. Don't skip breakfast and stop smoking. Bye bye, baby. Odette. Hello? Odette, this is Detective Loader. Sorry to call so early. Mr. Loader? My husband didn't come home tonight. Did you see him? Do we lie to her? What's our plan? Do we say he ran away with another woman? I have you safe now? She's not really safe. No one's safe. If I call my mom at 5 a.m. just to hear her voice. <laughs> oh, thank you, Alex Godlex. Okay, two. I'm not sure how to put it. I'm sure it's nothing worse than I've imagined, so please, Mr. Loader, put me out of my misery. <sighs> Listen, you should file a missing person report. I saw a piece of him. Oh, man, Ghost Tech. Oh, man. Yeah, that's, that's uh, accurate. I think she should file a missing person report. Oh. Oh, Shepard. Please, just try to move on with your life. Is he... Is he not coming back? No. I'm sorry, I have to go. But, please wait. Wow, that was awful. We are awful. Could we not be more compassionate? We gave nothing. We gave nothing. I use candles and runes. Oh, man. All right, no mercy is true. Anatoly. Dolly. It's Howard. You sound very awake. Ah, Howie. I completely forgot his voice. You think I was asleep sleepers for when you got no babies? You free today? For you always. Uh, who's hanging? Haha, -ha, it's a pear or a peach. Uh, what was I saying? Pick me up today at nine. I'm paying for the day. You bet. Howie and Tolly, the dynamic duo of detective boy partners, crime lords, beware. I told you, we're not partners. <laughs> Please remember to put some clothes on. Uh, you the boss. A big payday. I'll wear a tiny hat if you want. You at your place? No. Oh, one second. Renee, what's the address? Tell him to pick you up outside 1640 Alberni Street. It's a block away from here. Thanks. Totally 1640 Alberni. You know it? Yeah, in the docks. Wait, Howie, who's Renee? Who is she? Tell you later. When I know more myself. I hear your husband tastes like chicken. Anyway, bye! Oh, gosh. Alright, we've made our calls. She's like, um, you only mentioned one call. My phone bill. I'm not made of money. Oh, I kind of 
had a cute picture of my niece and nephew reading a book together. Okay. I'll be damned, it's a real address, is it? Nice. Okay, okay, Renene. Okay, so start with the truck, find where it's going, call me during and after. I'll write you my number in a minute. Also, who's Odette? Uh. Oh gosh, Odette is my client. Elaborate? The one that hired me to snoop about the guy I found dead in the bite. Her husband. A oh, poor woman. Yeah, not sure I handled that well. You did not, but that's okay. We all deal with grief in different ways. What happens when I find the truck? Our goal is to confirm if it's smuggling flesh out of the bite, and to where, or to whom. Anything you learn, report to me. Got it. I need a nap. You can stay here for as long as you want. This place is my little secret. I'll go home now and meet you back here later tonight. You don't want to... stay? No. Call me if you need anything. Be careful out there. Goodbye, Renee, who won't stay. Why does Renee look like she's part of the resistance? Because <laughs> maybe she is. So, what's the case? You know I can't tell you, but this one can make a difference, I think. Oh, we love that for you. Time stamped your name on the world. H O W A R D. It's not about my name. Right? She's got a secret apartment. Super sketch. Client confidentiality. I've sworn an oath. I don't think that's how private detectives work. I mean, they should, but they don't. Ah, here we are, Gastown. Shepherd Almighty, what a swanky place. I'm not here to sightsee. Well, you go on about it, folks. I'm gonna get some quality until the chilly chill time. Not chilly, chill. Oh, when's your truck coming? We'll see. Kick back. It'll be here before you know it. Bring me a magazine or paper while you're at it. I should do that. That's a nice thing to do. Thanks, it's so hot and I'm so lazy. You're telling me. Hey, we made it to Gastown. Okay, objectives. Buy a new pack of cigarettes. Figure out where the boxes of flesh are ending up. Track down the fake Starling Cider Truck. Okay, Wood Palace. Furniture items. That's not it. Let's look. I need a new couch. Or any couch. Thank you, Scruffy. That's nice. Complimenting my voice works. Okay. What? Ooh. Ooh. Is this a tasting room? Sorry, sir. I'm waiting on a delivery. Could you come back later? Do you still sell Starling Cider? Please come back later or I have to close the shop. Okay. Sketch. I see cider in the background. 
But it's got a snail? Tuna. Hi friends, I'm Dorch and Tuna. I give you fun facts when you press my button. Go ahead, do it. The eggs are very nutritious as well as a great way to decorate your home. Please come back later. I have sketch shit to do, sir. <laughs> do you sell paper parts here? <laughs> Beavers eat a million pizzas a day. <laughs> These are really good facts. Ow. I just stubbed my toe. <laughs> no one thinks about you as much as you do. Now that is a real true one. Everything that you are overthinking having said. No one else is overthinking it. I can't just barge that back there. The owner's watching me. Okay, so the liquor shop has some cider. The bookshop. Hi, Poochie. Welcome to Poochie's Reads. Buy some books, please. They're good for you. Okay, yo, uh, you got these things with pages and words. Sir, this is a bookshop. What are you in the market for? Got anything by Renee Wilson? Let's do our research, huh? Hmm. Name rings a bell. Oh, the young fox writer. I got her books right here. Yes. How was it received? To be honest, it wasn't quite an achievement to even get published, and she did not. Uh, she did well not sounding hysterical. But you're the first person to ask about it. What's her book called? A book. That's a hard word to say. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's 2.50 o'clock, everyone. At least where I am on the West Coast. So I will take this moment to remind you that if you are interested in watching me play some D&D later today, I will be doing so on YouTube.com slash D&D Wizards or YouTube.com slash D&D uh, this show is called The Black Dice Society. It is very much fun, and I would love for you to pop on in. It's episode number 11 in our series. We've just finished a battle, and we're moving in between the lands of the, the dread domains of Ravenloft. All right. Poochie, an introduction to... Uh, this, is, this is her book? An Introduction to Systemic State Power Dynamics. Not the catchiest... Honestly, this sounds like something I would read. She's young. A, de a debut at 25 years old, really quite unusual. She managed to get it published. Enough about Renee. Was there something else I could help you with? Let's move on from the book talk. What can you tell me about the local area? I'm a bookseller, not a tourist guide, but we do have the Gourmand's Gallivant around Gastown, if you're interested. Doesn't that sound spicy enough for me? Ha! Huh. Well put. Can recommend! Thank you, Dead Fugar! She is the resistance! Oh man, you threw your campaign in Ravenloft as well! Love that, love that! Did you get the new book? There's a new book. Those are well-rendered trousers. You're telling me. Oh, thanks, A. Pantaloni. I'm glad you are loving the show. Ha! Oh, and while we're at it, why don't you hit like, subscribe, follow, all the things on whatever platform you're on, right here on Geek and Sundry and Nerdist. We're here every single Thursday. <laughs> Bohemoth, I just saw you say hello. Hello! <laughs> All right, you been here long? I've been running the store for 12 years. Took over from my mama, Shepherd, bless her memory, if not her shelf organizing system. People still got an appetite for books? Enough to keep me in business. Not enough to wake up and realize how low society has fallen. To say nothing of standards in literature. You wanna sell books forever? I certainly hope so. That's how I want to go. Just after reading the last page of a great novel. 
Damn, yeah. Okay, that's not bad. No, no, you have to do it in Tatiana's accent. You must watch Black Dice Society. It's very good for you. It will be nice time. You'll meet my friend Valentine. She is very good with her mind tricks. Also, there is some strange cat that is inside her brain. I guess because the theory and practice of oligarch oligarchical collectivism was taken. Hi, Geeky Chappie. Oh, snap. Okay. I like books. Then you're easily pleased and always welcome here. Bye for now. He said I'm always welcome. Does that mean I can go up this ladder? I'm sure our friendship will be relevant later. Oh, look at this little kitty on the bench. That's a nice kitty. Sean, hey Sean. You look as shady as I am. Yeah, I'm on my smoke break. I want to talk and the customer's always... No, that's such an asshole thing to say. That's fine, I'm just passing the time. Well, heck, aren't we all? Faster than we think. Guess it wouldn't kill me to make small talk once in a while. What are the locals like? They're all assholes. Aren't you a local too? Yup, point proven. So why electrics? You know where you stand with electrics, unlike everything else in this life. Electric stuff still breaks. And that's good, otherwise I'd be out of a job. You've got it all figured out. <gasps> it's always a loud noise. All right. Geeky Chappie, thank you so much for seven and three months of being a sub on the Geek and Sundry Twitch channel. Appreciate you. Okay, who, who will we be raiding? Oh my. <laughs> okay, um, so many good streamers. Folks, what you thinking, what you thinking? Currently live. Who should, who should get our raid? Also, any final thoughts? Thoughts on this game? Should we play it again next week? Should we do something else? Is there something we played recently we should return to? Or a new thing we should check out? Does the main character have PTSD yet? Yes, Massey, definitely. Definitely, definitely does. Uh, this is a great game and I'm really loving it. I know, I'm enjoying it too, but of course I have to go. One, because this show is over. We'll be back next Thursday with a different game. And uh, two, because Black Dice Society starts in one hour. Uh, an early birthday related raid? Sure, Devin! You, you take over! Of course Charlotte wants Pony Island. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Who's got a birthday happening? Tell me more. Um, if they're not currently live, though, that's not a great raid. I always come just in time for the end. Geeky Chappy, same time every week. <laughs> I don't even know that person, but hey. A birthday is a great day for a raid. Uh, just, just, just checking out the things, making sure it's actually live. All right, uh, happy birthday to everyone. Happy birthday yesterday to Adam Blaz. Happy birthday to Carl on Saturday. Play this game next week. I'm hooked on the story. Me too, Akaria. Uh, Akara, Ak Arya. Is it Ak Arya? Like Arya Stark? <gasps> Whoa. All right, let's go give them a lovely raid because it's their birthday. Ciao, Jordan. Uh, thanks so much, everybody, for hanging out. Hey, if you have not yet gotten your vaccine and you are in a place in the country that allows you to do so, boy, I hope you do. Keep everybody safe. If you still, uh, if you haven't gotten your vaccine, please keep wearing a mask because, um, hey, pandemics suck, y'all. We'll get through it together. Sending lots of love, lots of birthday love, and uh, take care of yourself. 
and know that um, you can make the world a better place just by uh, trying to make it better for other people. Okay, you're awesome. Have a wonderful day. Bye.